I just completed a new painting for the Opry Show coming up February, first weekend in February. The painting is uh, 40 by 50 inches. It's called Hard Trails Wore Out More Than Ponies. And this painting developed from a scene that I had photographed about 30 years ago. And I probably had looked at this photograph or a series of photographs dozens and dozens of times over the years. And all of a sudden, one day, in looking at this photograph, I could see a story there. And I could, I could see these Indians sitting in the foreground among these rocks. And uh, in the back of this scene, there's a raised area with some trees. And I thought, well, if I expand that area and push it back, I can put some ponies up there and I can create a story out of this scene. It just, it, it lent itself to a story. And so I came up with the idea of, of these uh, Blackfoot Indians uh, traveling on horseback and how hard the trails were. And of course the ponies wore out, wore out, their hoofs wore out, they got split, they got sore feet, and their equipment wore out. It was hard on everything and hard on the men. I mean, they're, they're human beings. They got tired, their equipment broke, so I decided to put two of these fellows down in the foreground, one of whom is eating a piece of dried buffalo meat and the other one's mending his pad saddle. He also took off one of his moccasins, which is split down the side, and he's got to repair that. And then in the background, I have three, three ponies, and. Uh, there's an Indian walking away from one of the ponies carrying a hide in his hands. He's obviously pulled it off the back of the pony and he's going to drape it over a rock or something and, and let it dry out a little bit. So they're just uh, taking a break during a hot day and, and, uh, and then they'll move on to whatever adventure, you know, we can only guess. That's part of the fun of it. You, you want to make people think and ponder and wonder what's going to happen next and what these guys are doing or where they're going and, and that, uh, that creates some interest.